everyone if you're an hr manager or working in an hr organization then you're probably creating salary slips it may be system generated but in a lot of cases these salary slips need to be made manually let's see how we can automate this salary certification creation process right in stack by using the page designer app so the first thing that you need to do is create a very basic table in stack by there is a pay slips table in this table we are essentially adding all the employee names their positions we are adding the logos of our company what time what date a particular employee has been hired what is the salary date that you're looking looking at to distribute the salary certificates and for that date how many days have they been present what are their pay days what is the basic salary you add all the details medical hra and all the deductions whether it's pf esi professional tax income tax and then you basically calculate a net pay net pay is nothing but all the you know all the basic salaries minus the deductions right which brings to the net pay so you essentially create this uh, for all your employees you just have to do it once add all the details and it will automatically compute the net pay now once this is done let's see how we can create our salary certificates in bulk so you go to the apps section so let's look at this so i've already created a dashboard i add an app search page designer now in this case i want to bring it from the page uh, page slips table and i want to make it in an a4 size done now let's start adding information onto the layout so in this case i want to basically start with the logo right the first thing is we'll create we add a logo now add the details of the company in this case let's just say it's x technologies inc create so add the information like this now you want to add the employee name right in this case it's going to be like the slip id what but what we'll do is we'll add the static text so let's just say employee name is going to be slip id it automatically take the name you basically change the settings add the font size right now i want to look at um the present days and the pay days right so i'll just create a text field again so present days is present days and pay days is pay days So it gives me the present and the pay days. Just add a little more information. Change this into the font that we're looking at. Now this is for the month of August, right? So I'm going to add one more text here for the month August 2023. so add the information so i'll just bring it down a little bit again make it into lato keep it into the center right and add increase the font size 
So you add information like this. Now I want to look at the salary. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add two sections. One is the salary section. Now in this one, I want to bring in all the basic medical and HRA uh, for that particular person. So I'll just create another text. So basic would be basic HRA would be HRA and medical. So it brings the structure like this. In this case, I want to just add like a bottom border, right? Gives me like this, and I change the font however I want, and change the font weight, right? Now, the second thing that I want to bring are the deductions, right? So, I'm gonna add one more text here. This one, this section is primarily for deductions. add the bottom bar like this now here all the reductions will come so all the static element I'm again going to pull in the static element but in this case now I'm going to look at all the reductions that I have which is PF, ESI, PT and income tax so I'm quickly going to create that so PF would be PF deductions column PT would be let's just say ESI would be ESI deductions PT would be PT deductions so let me just pull it like this and income tax and the income tax deductions so it automatically pulls in the information I'll just change this to a font that we'll that we're looking at right and the final would be the net pay right so now what we're going to do is I'm going to add one more text so which will give me the net pay right? so net pay would be the final net pay okay. in this case I'm going to increase the font right? increase the font weight and in this case I'm going to give borders of the top So it gives me a net pay like this. Right. So this is how I can basically create like a salary slip, right? And I can add like the signature at the end of it. So, so what I can do is it's super easy. Again, add a text. Add, let's just say. Elon Musk the name of a particular person uh, like the signature somebody who will basically add the signature make this into like a, like a blue color which is nothing but a signature right. and I'm gonna Add a border on top. Right. So, super easily, I've created 
you know my salary slip right now i just you know click on done and i can see that all the employee salary slips are created automatically by taking records it directly takes the records from the table now if you want to quickly preview it you can just preview it like this right or you can even print it into a pdf you can export it into pdf or print it in any dimension so basically you just select the paper size in this case i'm going to select the letter in portrait add any page margin if i want and just print it so you want to create physical copies of the uh, of the salary slips you can do that or you can create like pdf copies and send it to your uh, send it to your employees or team members on their email so just click on print and it will just help you either print or save it into a pdf so now what i've done is i've created a better version of this of course so we'll quickly look at that and just preview it so this is how you can basically add more information you can add the address add underlines for the pay slip you can add the titles as well and all the other information that that i just showed you so you can create quick salary slips for your employees and distribute at your will so just add information into the table and your pay slips will be generated automatically using the page designer app so give this a try and let us know what you think cheers bye